Hey, doing Jeremy's floorboards there. We're just gonna take some start measurements before we jack it up. Uh, so we got a couple of those. Let it go wherever it stops, so I can pull up on it and get another inch or two. But that's where it stops. We won't move the bike until it's all done. Say 41 and a half, roughly. No, 41 and a quarter. 41 and a quarter on the back. And 29 and a half. So we'll go with that for starts. So we're going to do floorboards and then we got uh, some new, uh, new skins to go on those rims. That's going to be a surprise to later on though. We're going to get her jacked up, rip all the wheels off and uh, We'll get back to you in a minute. Okay. First side, the easy side's done. We're going to, uh, we're going to fill in the other side because apparently it's a little harder. This was a chore to get in, even though it's easy side. Uh, it's not that easy. I haven't decided which foot pegs I'm going to put back in yet. I'm going to wait till the other side's done. I'm going to set both in and see because you can use, reuse your stock ones or, uh, go with the black ones that uh, farm running provides so we're gonna go uh, start on this other side here okay we started taking some of these out all these bolts bolt heads are all 10 mil so just zing them out uh, these black ones are all captured the ones on the foot pegs you got to get a ratchet up in the bottom to pull them off and then uh, there's a T20 Torx and T30 Torx on the back side. We'll show that in a sec, but I'll rip these off real quick. Nice thing is with the foot peg, you got these aluminum foot pegs, or what Jeremy was talking about, you can reuse. Well, I'm going to point out one thing we did on the other side. They give you all tons of hardware, which is great. Uh, you know, there's going to be, I think, a left, bunch of leftover hardware here. But uh, what we decided to do, these are the factory carriage bolts that are upside down and the plastic piece underneath the stock floorboards. And uh, I like them better, so we put the stock ones back in because I'd rather have those than the uh, an actual bolt head sticking up. Just thought it'd be better. But uh, for a comparison... It's a huge difference so it's no wonder we can get bigger rubber in here yeah on the other side too we did a little bit of trimming um, it's just a little piece right up in here Jeremy wanted to keep this in just so you don't see that uh, the exhaust shroud because it does kind of look like crap we just had to trim a small piece up in here we just used some tin shears and it's uh, about a half inch on the top and it works out to be about a three quarter inch at the bottom and it's that way you can keep that in there, you don't got to see the exhaust part. And then on this, to get it to actually fit, we had to tweak this upper part. Uh, not even a quarter of an inch because it was gouging into the plastic. Once we tweaked it a quarter inch, it fit right in and we can fit, now that it's all together, we can just move that back into place and you won't even know. But it was really digging into the plastic. and they're a tight fit we'll just put it that way yeah you're stretched well you're stretching the fenders a fair bit everything's pulled tight to these new size right because look i showed the difference there it's it's huge and over here on the inside you got your two t20s your t30 is through the top and then you got one 10 mil up here that you got to get a wrench on and then this side's loose same on the other side, you got two T20s and uh, T30. And once you get all that up, you do uh, the old judo chop and it comes apart. T20s, T30s, all the pop clips out. And uh, I'm just gonna loosen up this. Basically, you just hold up on the fender. Give a quick little stab there. She's out. Sounds bad, but we tried every other way and it just doesn't pan out. So 
and I put on bitumen just so I didn't, because uh, these, these hurt pretty bad. Okay, I got the uh, old floor bar piece out. You got to start with the front on this, kind of pull it up and you work the front out around your uh, cover here. It just kind of jingles and pops out. And then there's uh, your four carriage bolts right in here. We'll pop those out and then this plastic piece will come off. This is your actual support. So we'll get that out of there and then uh, we'll show you what she looks like after that. We took all the uh, 10 mil bolts, carriage bolts out of this. I loosened this, uh, this one bolt back here just to give a little bit of flexibility there. And then basically all you do is you rotate this, twist it out and give it a little wiggle and it just pops right out. And uh, then we're ready, ready for the floorboard. There's a, another piece that bolts on first on that, eh? In your box. Uh, that's right there, I'm okay. in the coat. Yeah, like, far mudding just did a wicked job. Yeah, that looks badass. Like. You know, not much more money, and they do a fully custom job for you. It's uh, obviously very good uh, quality stuff here. Like, it's super heavy, nice and thick. Yeah, mixed. actually, I was surprised that the, it's not cheap tin by any means. Like, it's solid. Uh, solid, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, we got this one situated in here. Uh, we drilled all the holes, got everything lined up. We got the plate that goes in behind the brake. Just loose in there bolts on the front side here down there what we did have to do To get everything to kind of line up real nice is there's two uh, 13 mil head carriage bolts right here just so this plate could just to say slide underneath the uh, the brake bracket and Then everything everything lined up really nice. There's just that extra eighth eighth to three sixteenths of an inch and Everything went right in nice. We're just getting all the bolts put in finger tight. And then we got to put in, there's two carriage bolts that go in here. And we kind of double nutted to hold this in place. And we'll be putting those in next. Um, Far mudding is a really nice uh, blister pack for all the bolts with everything labeled. So it makes everything nice. So you know what's what. There's an awful lot of spares, though, eh? Speed bolt. <laughs> yeah, this will just be even more deal. You kind of got to get the carriage bolt in, tighten the carriage bolt to the plate. And you got to run the other nuts in, tighten the plastic to the carriage bolt just so it has that standoff. There's so much more room. Oh yeah, the access is phenomenal. Greasing and stuff's gonna be way easier on this side. Like all the clamps you can actually get to now, make sure they're tight because they're not tight from the factory. <laughs> Lots of room. They say you can pull the clutch cover off without having to pull the floorboards off. So, well, I'm putting 32s on, so I guess I'm about to find that out soon. That'll be another day. Okay, we're getting ready to swap these tires over for Jeremy. We just thought we'd put them on the scale real quick. And the uh, stock cryptics on the rims. Are 50 pounds pretty much according to our, the bathroom scale so what we'll do is I'll rip one of these off and we'll compare them off the rim and then I'll put one on the rim and we'll uh, compare them on the rim I think they're gonna be pretty close these uh, Aztecs don't seem like they're that heavy they're definitely not an eight or anything like that so yeah 32 is like 
32 inch rubber. Of course, we got the uh, we got the okay from Don at Adventures This Way. I made sure with him before before I bought them that uh, that I'm gonna like them, and then I actually got to ride with them, see them in person, uh, work, and uh, they do work well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll work good on my machine. We'll get these uh, swapped out. Got a tire machine over here. Get these swapped out and uh, we'll weigh up another one. So these tires are being a little stubborn to get air into. They're going to be a little more difficult because they got the rim protectors on them, but we might have to use the heavy duty stuff. Bottom's on. Actually, that's not bad. I think we're still well within our. Uh, We got the Aztec mounted on the rim. What's it look like? This one? Oh, hang on, I'm leaning on it. Here, I'll hold it just with my pinky. Okay, no games, no playing around. Let's say 51. 51 and a half, 52 maybe. Nice. nice. So, we're upgrading from basically 29 inch cryptid, whatever, because they're 30, but they're not 30. To a 32, which is not quite a 32, is more like a 31. Huh. But we're upgrading basically two inches, more aggressive, and uh, only gaining a pound or two. That's a win in my books. Um, I wanted to stay away from the assassinators. Love to get a set of naders, but I, I don't know. They're just so freaking big and heavy. So I'll we'll try these. They look a little more trailable too, and I, I still like trail riding. They're not all mud, so. See how she goes. Look at this beast. Like it's ridiculous. I love it. Uh, oh, one one thing we forgot to mention: doing the install. There's that piece of plastic that's in here. You have to remove that from this piece, from this piece right here. It has to come out in order to allow for this. Mine's already out because I thought it looked cooler. So that's done anyway. So there's a set of 32s on a 21 Outlander. XMR with uh, so we better we gotta check our height here. We gotta see what we gained. Forty one and a quarter we had. Yeah, and we're at forty two, basically forty two and three quarter. Was what twenty nine and a half or something? Twenty nine and a half, I think it was. And we're at. 31 and a quarter a bit so we have some gains i mean it's got some pretty tall tread on these tires too so that helps it's uh <coughs> even with floorboards like it's still a tight squeeze here there's not a ton of room but i'm really happy with how it turned out now we got the next big decision yeah you want to run these or do you want to run these Those ones are lower profile, eh? These are lower profile and they're a lot bigger. Ooh, I don't know. I might go back to the stock ones. Like with our waders that we run, we don't have the like the true boots, eh? So these ones might might not be very comfortable. No, I might go back to the stock ones because they're lower. Yeah. So uh, next up, because of these, we're gonna have to make changes in there. So that'll be the next thing up, I guess. Uh, not sure when that's happening, when things get restocked again, I guess. But uh, anyway, hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, please. It does us a big favor. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to do, uh, we're going to try and do some more cool videos and things that people actually want to see. 
So we got the bikes for it now. So yeah, we got the equipment now. We didn't before. It wasn't very uh, interesting, but you know, we're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Baby steps. So anyway, check us out. Northern Ontario Trail Stompers. Ready for uh, the spring. We're getting there. Okay, talk to you later.